Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In today's video, I want to show you how you can create an ISO file for Windows 11 so that you can upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 even if the PC that you are upgrading is not supported by Windows 11, meaning that it doesn't have TPM, it doesn't have secure boot, and it has like 4 GB RAM or less. So to create the special ISO, we need to download a utility from GitHub called Media Creation Tool and this is from Aveo on GitHub. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this. The good thing about this utility is that it is completely automated. So you don't have to edit the registry. You don't have to open an ISO and put another ISO or setup file in it or anything like this. So let's start with the first step, which is downloading this utility from GitHub. So the instructions I'm gonna show you here are performed on a Windows 10 machine. So let's open the web browser. And let's go to github.com slash Aveo. And on this github.com page, you see here the media creation tool dot bat. Click on it. And here, click on the drop down arrow next to code. And then click on download zip. So the media creation tool zip file will be downloaded. So now that the file is downloaded, let's close the browser and let's go to the downloads folder or to the folder where you downloaded the file. And here it is, media creation tool bad.main. And this is like a zip file. So right click on it and select extract all. And let's extract it. So click on extract and they will be extracted, the files. So now after the file is being extracted, I want to test it to see if it is safe. So I have McAfee here on my PC. So I'm going to right click on it and then click on scan. And you notice that there are no viruses in the file. So now go to the folder, to the extracted folder here. Double click on it to open it and double click to open it until you arrive to this folder here. And you see you have the media creation tool batch file. Simply double click on it. And if you receive this message, click on more info and then click on run anyway. Windows prompts you for this because this is a batch file and it is not signed. So let me minimize Explorer. And when you run the batch file, you have these options in front of you. So here we are going to select Windows 11. So this is selected by default. So click on Windows 11 here, which is 11. And you have many options. The option that is of interest to us here is to make an ISO file. So this ISO file, you can take it and you can upgrade your Windows 10 PC that is not hardware compatible with Windows 11 to Windows 11. So I'm going to click on Make ISO File and click Yes if prompted. And you notice the program starts. It will download now the media creation tool from Microsoft site. As you see, it is downloading from Microsoft.com, so it is legitimate. And this is here also from Microsoft.com. And this is a media creation tool. So it gets downloaded. And here, everything is automated. As you see, I didn't click on anything. And now what it is doing is that it is creating a Windows.iso file in your documents folder. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when this operation is almost finished. So now the downloading is almost finished. I'm going to open the documents folder so that you can see how the windows.iso file will be created automatically here. Let me also open the batch file so that you can see what it is doing. And this should close automatically now. Give it a second. And here it is closed. And this here is a Windows ISO file that is prepared and ready to upgrade our Windows 10 machine to Windows 11. Before starting with the upgrade, I'm going to perform a virus scan on the Windows.iso file that was just created. So I'm going to right click the file and then click on scan. And this is the same McAfee scan that is fully updated. And you see that no threats are found. So what I will be doing here is that I will be upgrading this Windows 10 machine and it is not compatible with Windows 11. And 
so that you don't take only my word for it. I'm going to try to upgrade it with a standard ISO file for Windows 11 and you'll see that the upgrade will not succeed. So I have here in the downloads folder a standard Windows 11 ISO. I'm going to double click on it and let's double click setup. Yes. And you're going to see that it will fail. So here, just I don't want it to download updates so that it will be faster. So let's click on next. And you see here that the standard ISO file of Windows 11 cannot upgrade this PC. So I'm going to close this one here. And I'm going to launch the ISO file that we just prepared using the Aveo batch file. So it is in the documents folder. So here it is. I'm going to double click on it simply and then double click setup and click yes to continue. And this is here the Windows 11 setup running from the special ISO file that we just created. You have the option here to keep downloading the updates while doing the setup. So let's click on it to see what options we have. So it says that it will download updates. So I'm going to keep it on download updates and you'll see that even with download updates, everything will work. So let's click on next. So here's the setup continuing. So this is the upgrade of Windows 10 to Windows 11. Here, this is the license agreement. Simply click on accept. Feel free to read it, of course. And you see here now we're ready to perform the upgrade. So the setup program succeeded in bypassing the TPM check and all this hardware checking and it downloaded the updates and here simply click on install and you see now that the upgrade is being performed so here I'm gonna cut this video and continue when the upgrade is almost finished so now the first phase of the upgrade finished and the PC will restart in a few moments and here's the PC restarting And the upgrade is continuing now after the PC restarted. And here's the upgrade finished. And this is Windows 11 starting now. So this is the Windows 11 here welcome screen. The first time, of course, only you'll see the screen. And here's Windows 11 setting up the PC. And here is Windows 10 upgraded to Windows 11 on incompatible hardware. So let's check the Windows 11 version now. So go to settings and under system, click on about and you see that it is Windows 11 Pro. So that was it for upgrading Windows 10 to Windows 11 on incompatible hardware. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel big time. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.